Man, I wish people knew what the fuck was really going on in this world. Motherfuckers is targeted out of this bitch. I'm one of them. I'm living in a hotel right now with my kids and my husband. And it's just not good. Nothing's good for me right now at all. I just wish that people knew what the fuck was going on. I've been targeted since what, like 2012, 2013. I jumped from, I moved from Virginia to Georgia, and now I'm in South Carolina. If people don't knew the agenda that the, the government had, people would really stop working and paying their taxes. If people really knew where their tax dollars was going, is going to these fucking programs that's used to control people's minds. If people don't think that they, that they can control our minds, we think we have free will still. We don't have free will anymore. They're transforming that. They're turning that around. That's why we got motherfuckers shooting up people in movie theaters and shit. I'm not even the same person anymore. Not the same person I used to be. They think people like me are crazy. Celebrities that have talked about this shit are crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Activists, reporters, scientists, government officials, ex military officials that are targeted, that they're talking about it, and they're all crazy, right? And of course, a bum ass bitch like me is crazy, right? You know, when shit hits the fan. Motherfuckers just gonna see the people like me, entertainers, people that are rich and poor, it doesn't matter. People that got a high status or don't have a high status. People gonna see in the end that none of that matters. Because they're trying to control, they're trying to get population control, I'm sorry. They're trying to gain population control. The media, the television, the radio, social media is all used to brainwash us so they can have control over our minds. But we don't realize it because we're too far gone. There's been plenty of great people, great men and women that's trying to stand up against this shit. And they all died. Some of them died, some of them was thrown in jail. Someone would discredit it. White, black, Chinese, Spanish, don't matter. They don't give a fuck about the skin complexion. The racism is was used as well as control. So was religion used to control. And now I'm sitting in a motherfucking hotel right now, as you can see. I'm sitting in a motherfucking hotel right now. Because me and my fucking husband was jumped by neighborhood gang stalkers. I don't know what the fuck they was. These ignorant ass black people that we've jumped by. Previously, when we lived in Georgia, we were harassed. I was harassed. They tried to evict us from the apartment we was in. When I was in Virginia, before all this dumb shit started, like, I mean, really got bad, they tried to set me up and say that I was neglecting my husband's son. He had a son with another woman. Tried to say I neglected him and left him in the car child neglect and shit, tried to get me with a child neglect charge, and that's why I ended up living in Virginia. But before that, I had FBI surveillance of me in my fucking apartment complex. I had my motherfucking neighbor upstairs harassing me. I ended up getting in a fight with this bitch. Fighting her, physically fighting her. Then they got me with a child neglect charge. Cops was following me. They, they, they suspended my driver's license, said I owe IRS taxes. They just hit me with a bam, 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 left to right. Next thing you know, I'm jobless. I don't got no car no more. And now me and my husband and my kids are homeless. That's what their agenda is, to make people homeless. Then they got motherfuckers watching you. Everywhere you go, motherfuckers following you and watching. The cops are just over here early. Right over here in that white building over there, where those trees are. Fucking cops was over there this morning. Everywhere I go. Right before we left Georgia, motherfucking cops pulled us over for nothing. Not because I didn't have my seatbelt on, nothing other. Just pulled me over 
to nothing to interrogate me and my husband. A lot of things happened to me in these past three years that I can't even, I can't even like fathom it. Like this shit has really created some type of brain disorder in my head, but that's the whole objective. That's what they want to do. Here come my husband now, look at my baby. Me and him always getting into it because they're using mind control shit on me and him so that, so that um, me and him will fight. And then next thing you know, somebody in jail, he ended up in jail last year because there's all this shit, all this fight. So